It's John Bowden from Rock History Book. Welcome to our Today in History. If it's your birthday today, well, a lot of stuff happened on your birthday. And if you know someone whose birthday is July 29th, please send him this video. I'm sure they'd really appreciate it. Uh, quick stuff we get out of the way before we start. Uh, we're, we're raising funds if you want to support the channel to build a new computer. We have to build it because it's the main computer who builds all our videos. Uh, we've got more than half of the donations to, to, to buy the computer. So thank you for the folks who donated. So there's a PayPal link at the very top of the description. Also, you can buy a t-shirt, uh, very top of the description, or join our Patreon. It's John Bowden, July 29th, 1946. Neil Doughty, keyboardist of REO Speedwagon, born in Evansville, Indiana. He is 75 years old today. Also, Patty Scalfa, who's Bruce Springsteen's wife. She's part of the E Street Band. She was born in 53. She is 69 years old today. One of my favorite musicians of all time, the bass player, the original singer, the leader guy. In Rush, we've got Getty Lee. Neil Peart only joined on the second album, so was him, John Rutsey, and Alex Lifeson on the first Rush album, but it's been uphill all the way, and of course, they're no longer a band, but you never know, him and Alex, you never know. Uh, John Sykes, guitarist of Whitesnake and also known for Thin Lizzy, born in Reading, England, 62 years old. Happy birthday to you. And Way Morris of, um, it's, I have Wanya, Wanya Morris, I don't know, 1963, he was born, he's 48 years old, from boys to men, born in Philadelphia. We lost some people on this date, big, big uh, performer, uh, big impact in, in rock and roll, 1974, Mama Cass Elliot, American rock vocalist, not really a rock vocalist, but people say that, of the Mamas and the Papas, remember California Dreaming, one of many hits. She died of a heart attack on this day. In London, she was only 32 years old. May she rest in peace. Big part of rock and roll history. Uh, Glenn Goings, uh, guitarist for Parliament Funkadelic, dies of Hodgkin's lymphoma, age 24. This is in 1974. Uh, Eddie Guzman, drummer for Rare Earth, uh, died. In, oh, there he is. He's, he's in front of me. I, I didn't move that one. Let me just bring him over here. Um, he dies of complications from diabetes uh, at the age of 49, long time ago, 93. And in 2011, G. McDaniels, known for his 1961 hit, <laughs> I've always loved this song, uh, 100 Pounds of Clay. He also wrote Roberta Flack's hit in 74, Feel Like Making Love. He dies at 76 at his home in Maine. Uh, remember to like our videos. Remember to share them if you can. It's Today in History. It's kind of a cool thing. And it's a three-month experiment. If this goes well, we'll continue doing it. And thanks for the donations because the donations really help. Um, in 1978, a phenomenon, Grease soundtrack hits number one in the U.S. thanks to songs like Hopeless, Hopelessly Devoted to You and You're the One That I Want. Always love that soundtrack to this day. I just watched Grease like the other day. In 78, Kenny Loggins and Stevie Nicks release Whatever I Call You Friend. Also on this date, in 66, Bob Dylan got into a motorcycle accident, uh, which kept him out of the limelight for like almost a year. And later on, he said, I had been in a motorcycle accident. I'd been hurt. But the truth is, I wanted to get out of the rat race. So... That was kind of his way of going, well, I've got an excuse now. I don't have to do that stuff. Sometimes you want to get off the wheel, right? In 1966, Cream made their stage debut in Manchester, England, Twisted Wheel Club. In 68, uh, Graham Parsons left the birds. He refused to play in South Africa on uh, for a segregated audience. In 73, as the title says of this video, Led Zeppelin ripped off $180,000 after a, a show at uh, the Drake. Well, the, the money was at the Drake Hotel. They had a show at Madison Square Gardens, which is where they filmed the documentary. The song remains the same. Pa Paul Davis in 1986. This was crazy. Um, he had hits like I Go Crazy, 69 Love Affair, Cool Night. He shot in the stomach during an attempted robbery in a Nashville hotel. He eventually recovered, but he died at 60 April 2008. A lot of stuff today, huh? Elton John goes to rehab in 1990 at the Parkside Lutheran Hospital in Chicago for rehab and bulimia and drug and alcohol addiction. He stays off the road for like uh, about a year. And we don't know who was, it was an anonymous bidder, but someone uh, paid for the handwritten lyrics of the Beatles' All You Need Is Love. 
uh, a nightclub in London. Man, you kind of, <laughs> who has that in their collection, huh? And in 2011, at a Dallas concert, Kings of Leon frontman Caleb Followill leaves the stage complaining of heat and doesn't rejoin the band for the rest of the tour. He's still in the band. Uh, should point that out. And, ah, uh, the Eagles played their last show with Glenn Fry. Show takes place in um, Bozier, I think I'm saying this right, City, Louisiana. Final date of their history of the Eagles tour. Man, what a day that was. Thank you for watching our Today in History. Remember, um, if you want to help the channel, if you want to donate, there is a link in the description of this video for, for PayPal. And we're basically rebuilding a computer. We've got more than half the funds raised thanks to you. And we don't buy cheap computers when you're editing video. So that's why it cost us. It kind of caught us off guard. And in these times, it's kind of difficult, right? So there's a link to PayPal. If you can help, please do. If you can't, I know times are hard. If you want to buy a t-shirt or join our Patreon, the links are all in the description. I'm John Bowden. If today is your birthday, happy birthday. If you know someone who's having a birthday today, please send them the video. I'm sure they'll appreciate it. I'm John Bowden. This is Rock History Music. And as we always say, you know, um, rock and roll, there's always news in rock and roll. There's always something going on. We enjoy doing this for you. So take care of yourself.